She's a, a hard worker. She's a great mother. She is the most giving person. She's always helping people. She is professional at all times. Friendly, very personable. He is nice as they come. He's very sweet. He's, um, he's quiet. He's soft-spoken. Looking at DeAndre, you know, the first time I met him and looking at him now, he's a completely different person. I didn't have nothing, I didn't have nowhere to sleep. Well, basically it was to this dude's house, to my car, just, just to, man, it was, it was terrible. I used to see myself as uh, basically uh, kind of like a nobody, seemed like a, a, a loser, you know. Like ever since I was, you know, like five years old, I was in a system, foster homes to group homes. You're being raised by drug addicts, so you're not being raised. Sometimes you, you got to find trouble to get help. I was 17 years old. I was on probation for aiding and abetting an aggravated robbery. I was in a group home for a, a probation violation, and I needed employment. He came to me, it was almost four years ago. At the time, wasn't real motivated. It was kind of like, uh, I could just kind of live the same life. I can go back to jail, you know, it's fine. It was such a nice job. I was, you know, the administrative assistant, secretary, receptionist, and greeted all the people. We got the notice that they were moving their headquarters to Wisconsin, and our entire department would be disbanded. Those were the nicest people I ever worked with, I mean. We were like, we were more like a family. Everybody got along. I cried so hard. I didn't think I would ever find a job as good as that. A rough life. <laughs> Basically, I've been on my own since I was 11. I wasn't working. I had lost both of my jobs at the same time, got laid off. And my kids weren't going to the shelter. Christina was referred to us by her employment counselor through Hennepin County to attend our workshop February of last year. Christina came in with a very poor attitude. She didn't feel we could help her. She was a different person by the end of those three weeks. It's not just, okay, go out, get this kid a job, get him a resume, make a resume, let's do that. There's so much more that goes into it um, because they do need the support. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to work in an office. I remember that first meeting, that first encounter, and I remember that Margie was really in a very sad, unhappy place. When you're looking for a job, and I'm 60 years old, you, it's scary, and you feel like you're not going to find anything. My typing wasn't that great, and so she sent me to the keyboarding class. We never gave up on her. We would encourage her and help point out her strengths, and, and I think she learned to appreciate that and see those for herself. We sat at my desk and completed the online application for Little Caesars and sent in a resume, and she called me the day she got the job. I put him on an internship, which is paid through Hired. When I first started at Fish Guys, I didn't know anything about fish. He lacked a lot of confidence when he started, um, very shy, quiet. He didn't think he was worthy to look to even look you in the eye. You just take a little bit of time with them, and that's all it took. And then they hired him on afterwards. I've been there for a year now, over a year now. She goes to work every day, she pulls extra shifts. She's been promoted three times since she started, and now she's an assistant manager of the store. You run the shift, you make drops out of the register. She's a good person. We had a phone call about the interview, preparing for the interview, and debriefing after the interview. <laughs> so, and I think it's helpful to walk through those steps. It took five interviews but I got the job. I am a receptionist at AGA Medical in Plymouth. It's a wonderful place to work. They knew my background. They knew what I went through, you know, through probation and why I was with hired and all that. And that just made me feel more comfortable that I didn't have to hide. I could be myself. His self-esteem has gone up a lot. When they don't feel like someone cares and if they're just going back to their old neighborhood and back to their old friends, 
the cycle is going to repeat itself. Once you can build that rapport and they trust you, they open up. Taya gave me the chance first, and so I took that, and then they liked me, so they gave me a chance. But if it wasn't for Hired, I would never really have one like that. He's so grateful for any little thing. He almost breaks down into tears. My brothers and sisters, they, they watched me a lot. They looked at me like, man, this dude, this, he ain't no role model. And I, I knew that. But now, you know, not too long ago, my little brother told me that he looked up to me. And I never, never really heard that from him or never heard that from anybody. We call each other every week just to check in and say hello. It's turned into a friendship. So she just look at her and she just, she just brighten up her day. They would tell you that, you know, you're going to send out resumes and you're not going to hear anything, but you can't give up. And those are important things to tell people because you, you, th you feel like giving up. She completed her GED. She started school at MCTC for business. She's become such a positive person. This is the longest I've ever been on a job. And this is the, the most successful I feel like I've ever been on a job. Last Thursday was one year. And if you look at Margie today, I think you'll see that she sits and stands a lot taller now. I definitely think that he will continue to succeed. I think hired a lot because if it wasn't for hire that I really most likely wouldn't be where I'm at now with my job, with my house, with my car. I think she landed where she was supposed to be. I don't think I would be at this job without hiring. You can always make something. Don't never say they won't let you, they won't let you, because you can make something. My life just keeps getting better and better.